my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing another spell for you guys this is a spell that is specifically for those that want to know if the person that you're talking to or dealing with or dating or being in a relationship if they have feelings for you genuine feelings and also to be able to predict if this is the person for you meaning is this the person that is right for you that will unfold into something long term now this is not to manipulate to none of that this is just for you to be able to see uh, the spirits will reveal to you uh, if this person does have feelings for you if they care for you and if this is the right person for you okay it's very simple it's a very simplistic ritual all you need is foil you're going to need some sea salt. You're going to need, of course, you guys already know when we are, you know, dabbing into anything or we're going to need some type of spoon, preferably wooden. I'm going to be using a wooden stick here. You're going to be needing two pieces of paper, a black marker, and you're going to need a clear bowl. Okay. And, uh, of course, we're going to use some water, okay? Let me move this a little bit. Okay, hopefully, you guys can see better here. All right, so we're going to be using this bowl with water. Like I said, you're going to be needing foil, sea salt. We're going to be needing two strips of paper, the black marker, and preferably a wooden stick or wooden spoon. All right. This is very simplistic, you guys. I cannot make it any easier for you, okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a circle of salt. And the circle is obviously for purification purposes as well as protection, right? We got to make sure that we are protected. You don't want to get into or call on any unwanted spirits in your home, any type of paranormal activity, you're trying to keep that away. So that's the reason why we use salt in this, okay? All right, so once that is done, what we're gonna do is you're going to pour some water in the vessel or in the bowl, whatever it is that you're using. And if you really want to amplify it, which I highly encourage you guys to do, is you're going to put some crystals around the circle of salt now are the crystals necessary no because you're using the sea salt but when we're talking about uh, being able to receive clear messages from spirit you always want to use um, instruments or tools that are going to give you that clear communication uh, in this case, we're using rose quartz and crystal uh, clear quartz, okay? Um, but again, you don't necessarily need it. However, if you do have them, I would highly encourage you to do so, only because it, you know, will communicate in a much more clear and concise way. All right, my lovelies. So what we're going to do is you're going to write down on the strip of paper, you're going to write down their first name, last name, uh, sorry, not their... Uh, not their full name you're going to write their initials what you do need is their date of birth that's going to be very important so for this i'm just going to make one up all right so i'm going to make up any initials here um let's see i'm just going to say l a and you're going to put their initials on both pieces of paper okay on both strips of paper and you're going to put their date of birth. So I'm just going to make one up here. Let's see. Uh, July 10th, 82. Okay. Let's just say July 10th, 82. All right. So you can see here. We have LA, July 10th, 1982, the same for this one. Now, the reason why we're using two strips is because in one of the strips, you're going to write yes, and on the other, you're going to write no, okay? 
but both strips need their initials and their date of birth. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So we're gonna put no on this one and we're going to put yes on this one. All right, so hopefully you guys can see here we have yes and no. Their initials and their date of birth, okay. So once we do this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold the strips of paper in three. So you're gonna, let me show you here. You're gonna fold it one, two, and three. And you're gonna do that for both the strips of paper, okay? One, two, and three. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to put both the strips together in our palm of hand. We're gonna cover them and we're going to say, I call upon my spirit guides, wide, my wise and loving spirit guides, my ancestors and archangels. I ask you to step forward and reveal to me. Allow me to see clearly and concisely what their true intentions are. So you would ask here, uh, do they have genuine feelings for me? Do they love me? Or is this the person that is right for me? Reveal to me, speak to me, allow me to see clearly and concisely with no hesitation. Bless me. So once you do that, you're gonna drop the pieces of paper on or in the water as such. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna introduce the wooden stick and we're gonna go around three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So this one opened. So when you're doing the 21 turns, right? When you're doing the 21 turns, the first paper to open up completely is your answer. Receive the answer. Please do not try to convince yourself of otherwise. As an example, if you get a result that you're not looking for or that you didn't like or whatever, do not make any excuses for the answer that your spirit guides and ancestors are giving to you. You need to acknowledge that because they are stepping in and they're showing you what you're asking. You need to take it for what it is, okay? So in this case, the first one to open was the yes. Um, of course, I'm not doing this for myself. I'm just doing it in general. We just made, we just made up uh, the LA, right? Because <laughs> I'm from Los Angeles. Um, but anyways, or originally from Los Angeles, and that's the reason why I put LA. Um, of course, my spirit guts would say yes, right? <laughs> but anyways, like I said, it is very important for you guys to take the answer, accept the answer, whether you want to continue on believing whatever it is, that is a choice that you're making, but you need to acknowledge them. You need to thank them for the clarity and insight that they just revealed to you, okay? So I'm going to repeat it. Once you drop the pieces of paper, you're going to give 21 turns in the clockwise position. The first strip of paper that completely opens up, that's the one that you're going to extract and that is your answer, okay? Once this is done, receive the message for what it is. I thank you, spirit guides. I thank you, ancestors. I thank you, my wise and loving guides for giving me this insight, this understanding. Allow me to be able to process this. Allow me to be able to receive it for what it is. I thank you for this insight, blessed be. Once you're done with that, you're gonna take out the other strip that is on here. You can toss the water. Um, ideally, I don't usually, I'm not gonna to toss this water. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to put it in my altar and let it completely consume itself only because um, I was showing you guys the process of it, but <laughs> I don't necessarily get rid of any work that I'm doing, whether it's like, that I'm doing it for a client or whether I'm doing it to show you guys um, because it does carry vibration, you guys. Water is one of the most important elements and it carries a lot of energy. 
So because I did speak to my ancestors, my guardian angels, and my spirit guides, and I asked them to step in, this water is purified. So what I would do is I just keep it in my altar. Um, I will either let it completely consume itself or... Uh, as an example, if there's a day where I'm feeling extremely heaviness of energy, then I will just use this as a cleansing. It's the same thing as when you do offerings, when you give yourself, um, not yourself, when you give your saints, your deities, uh, goddess and gods, um, when you offer them, you know, flowers, plants, anything that is of an offering that has either, that is herbs or flowers or roses, whatever, Never get rid of those. Never. No matter if they dry up, you can always use them in your practice. You can always uh, do yourself spiritual baths. They are extremely powerful because they're carrying that energy. So again, don't dispose of the things that you use, especially when in communication with your uh, guides or with your deities. Okay. And the salt, what I do is I'm going to uh, pretty much uh, spread it out in the entrance of my home for protection and obviously the clear quartz and the rose quartz I will just keep for, you know, for other uh, workings that I do. Anyways, I hope that this gives you guys insight. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope that you take the messages for what they are. And I wish you guys the very best. Like, comment, and share. Come back and let us know. Um, was it what you wanted? <laughs> or did you get your answers? I wish you guys the best. Talk to you guys soon. Bye. Thank you.